Hi Arabic learners, welcome back to Learn Arabic with Manar. Last week we learned a bunch of phrases that's important for beginners. So this week we will go ahead and learn more of this. This week we will see how to get someone's attention in a formal way. How to ask about Arabic words that you heard and you want to know what they mean. And how to ask how to say something in Arabic. Yalla, let's start. Last week we saw how to get someone's attention by saying Afwan. Today we will see how to get someone's attention in a formal way by using Law Samaht for a man, Law Samahti for a woman. Let's break it down. Law Samaht. Law it is if. Samaht is the present tense you. By adding the suffix te to the verb we are forming the second person you. Law Samaht for a man. Law Samahti for a woman by adding the suffix e to the verb we are forming the feminine. Law Samahti. Law Samaht. Law Samahti. Also, you can use it to ask someone to do you a favor. It will be nice to start with Law Samaht or Law Samahti. <laughs> When you are a beginner, you won't understand each word you hear. In this case, you will need the phrase I didn't understand. Ma fhemet. Ma fhemet. Ma, it is the negation not in Arabic. Fhemet, it is the past tense first person. I didn't understand. By adding the suffix te to the verb we are forming the first person in the past. We will talk more about prefix and suffix in Arabic in our grammar lessons. So don't think about it so much for now. So you could add the word that we learned before, afwan and mafhemet, to show that you are asking for them in a polite way to repeat what they say and you will say عفوان ما فهمت عفوان ما فهمت أها ما فهمت After telling them that you didn't understand by using عفوان ما فهمت You need to ask them to repeat And now you will need the phrase ممكن تعيد أمان ممكن تعيدي for a woman Let's break it down ممكن is it possible can you ممكن تعيد it is present tense second person by adding the prefix ت to the verb we are forming the second person you تعيد ممكن تعيدي for a female ممكن is it possible can you تعيدي it is the present tense you feminine by adding the prefix te and the suffix ye, we are forming second person feminine. Mumkin ta'idi, ta'id and ta'idi, they have the throat letter a, a. We saw it before in afwan. Pay attention to a. Now, what if someone is talking to you in Arabic and you can't understand what they are saying? Here, you will need the phrase. I don't speak Arabic. Ma bahki Arabi. Ma bahki Arabi. Let's break it down. Ma, it is the negation not. Bahki, it is the first person present I speak by adding the prefix be to the verb we are forming first person in the present. Arabi, it is Arabic. Ma bahki Arabi. And like this, they will understand and maybe they will start talking to you in English if they know English. Always when you are learning a new language, you need to ask about the meaning of, of a new words you are hearing and but you don't know what they mean. Here, you will need the phrase, what does it mean? So you will say, shu 
man. Shu man. Shu it is what in the Levantine dialect we, we saw it when we talked about shufi mafi. You could check over here. Mana it is the meaning. O only this phrase it's not enough. You have to add whatever word you want to ask about it after this phrase. And it will be like Shu mana marhaba. Shu mana marhaba. Shu mana ahlan. Shu mana ahlan. What does it mean? Shu mana. Now you will learn more words by do, uh, using this phrase. <laughs> As a beginner, you always want to, to know and learn new words and phrases. For that, you will need a phrase to ask, how do we say in Arabic? And you will need, kif min ul, the word that you need, bil Arabi. I will give you an example. Kif min ul, hello, bil Arabi. Kif min ul, hello, bil Arabi. And you could use any word or any phrase you want. Let's break it down. Kif, it is how in Levantine dialect. Kif, how. Min ul, it is present tense we. By adding mim ke nu, min, we, we are forming we in the present. Min ul. Bil arabi, b, it is in. Al arabi, it is Arabic. Kif min ul by bil arabi. Kif min ul how are you bil arabi. Now you will use it to know and learn new words and new phrases. So leave me a comment using the phrase that you learned today. Kif min ul bil arabi. Kif min ul bil arabi. You could write it in a Latin letters. Don't worry about writing. Soon we will be learning the letters and you will learn how to write. But for now, leave me a comment about words you want to learn in Arabic and I will come back to you in the answer. Now let's go over our words for today. Law samaht, excuse me, to a man. Law samahti, excuse me, to a woman. ما فهمت I didn't understand ممكن تعيد Can you repeat to a man ممكن تعيدي Can you repeat to a woman ما بحكي عربي I don't speak Arabic شو معنى What's the meaning كيف منقول بالعربي How do we say in Arabic Hope today's video was useful for you. If you think so, give me thumbs up and share it with your friends. More videos are coming about Arabic. Phrases, grammar, reading and writing and letters are coming soon. So make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified when I have a new, uh, new videos and don't miss it. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram so we will keep in touch. Thank you for joining me today. See you soon. Yalla bye.